just checked into our Hilton. We're going double bedding. We've got so much room. We've got a full length mirror. Well, we've got a toilet in three. the room. We've got our own shower and toilet. <laughs> oh, we've got goodies. Oh, we've got fluffy towels. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. And there's air conditioning oh, and a TV. Well, got a it's so good. After like two weeks of like hostels, hostels. Ugh. <laughs> to have our own. Get me out of a hostel. <laughs> yeah. Look at the to have our own view. one. It's raining, as we suspected. As soon as we touch down, rain. But I'm still gonna go for a swim. But I don't know if Tiana is because she wasn't keen for swimming in the but rain. But hate is hate. Let's go swim. But yeah. So we will catch up with you maybe in the swimming pool if I take the camera down, or maybe when we go for a walk. So we'll see. Bye. Happy. <laughs> Did it not work? So we found somewhere to eat in Cairns and it's raining. I can't remember if I've told you it's raining, but it's raining again. Um, but yeah, so we come uh, near the harbour. So Tian's had salmon and I've had Subalaki. And yeah, we're going to go have a wander in the town after. So it's the end of it. You literally can't see because it's so dark. But Oh, can you not? No. Should we spotlight me? There we go. I'm diagonal, starfish, and stretched. Pluto has got his own side to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> He's loving, fully loving life, and I'm fully selfish. We are fully loving having double beds after being in single twin beds for the last two weeks. So. It's weird, Lara not being above me on a bunk bed. Yeah. I'm normally like, hello, Lara. <laughs> How is life above me? <laughs> so, yeah, we're enjoying that. So we woke up this morning and we head over, headed over to the boat to go on the Great Barrier Reef and it is raining, shock, all Australia has done is sun rain, sun rain, so hopefully it will clear up once we get out there, but yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter if it's raining, you can still obviously go on the
Oh, we've already said that we finished our scuba diving, but we're now off the boat trip and we're in this like pool thing in town, uh, which we thought we'd try out because it was on a postcard. So we thought we'd uh, do yeah. five things to do in Cairn. <laughs> so here we are. It's a bit cold though. <laughs> we're going to head back to the hotel and go in the hot tub. Yeah, definitely. But it's cute. And we've got all the stuff behind us. Uh, yeah. So we came up for food and we decided that after all of the um, the rocky boat we deserved some uh, stodgy food. So we've gone for curry and it's really yummy. So that's what we're doing now. Eating. <laughs> So today we were meant to have the rainforest tour, but the rainforest was too rainy for us to go in. Um, so we drove an hour and a half there, and then we had to turn back, and we drove an hour and a half back. But it was really, it was meant to be the second most beautiful drive in Australia. So nailed that one. It wasn't too bad. Um, but now we're just going to go to this like zoom dome thing, um, just to see what that's like. Um, they've also got these cute cable car things, but I think because it's a little bit further out of town, we don't have a car now. Um, we're going to go check out the Zoom Dome wildlife thing. So we will catch up with you when we're there. Um, so yeah, see ya! We made it to the Zoom Dome thing. And this is what it looks like. It's really cool and we've got both of the like high wire things that we're gonna do which is this one and then like one up there too um then there's a reptile show at two that we're gonna do yeah well the pressure water crocodile is their size obviously as you may know it so water crocodiles can get very big just like a lion up there the reason for those off to your nerves are because there's blood running through them so they look by them so she's the girl that was in the enclosure just at the very end there. If you did see the python pathway, she's not in there at the moment. Obviously, some scales for uh, their body size. So they have more scales than what other snakes have. <laughs> we did the first high rope thing and we're going to do the second one. And we're all kitted out and I've got a helmet here. Um, we just watched the reptile show, which we got some Touched footage for. snake. Crocodile and a lizard, blue tongue lizard. Yeah, so we should have some footage of that. But unfortunately, I can't film this because I forgot to bring um, my wrist strap, and you can't do it if you're holding it. You have to have it like attached to you. And I also forgot the there's a helmet mount you can have as well, um, but I didn't bring either of them. But, Silly sausage. But it is all up there, and we did do it. I know it doesn't count if you don't film it, but we did. <laughs> so we'll see you in a bit just got out the wildlife thing and finished our high rope thingy the jiggy 12 meters high with three zip wires so yeah now we're on the hunt for some ice cream and um, yeah that's about it <laughs> so we'll see you later Almost last meal, penultimate meal of the holiday. Had a lamb souvlaki. We went to a Greek restaurant, um, so it was really yummy. Obviously, um, yeah. And then we're flying back to Melbourne tomorrow morning, so I think this will kind of be it until we're going on the plane tomorrow in Melbourne. So we will see you in Melbourne. Bye. So we made it to Melbourne. Um, it's like a three hour flight. It's now like mid afternoon, so we're gonna go to the park and sunbathe because it's sunny. It's super hot out there. We have another hotel, so this one's a holiday inn. Um, excuse the mess, we literally are not sorting anything out until we get back so we can make the most of the sun. So we've got two double beds, we've got a bathroom, TV. There's not much of a view, but I'll show it anyway. 
it's kind of just car parks and yeah because we're by the airport as our flight tomorrow is actually well no we've got to check in at 3 a.m for the flight so we're by the airport so we can get there super quick um so yeah that's basically it we'll see when we get to the park because we're leaving bye just starting to like go down a bit um so yeah but we're gonna go find some food shortly so yeah i just thought i'd show you the pretty sun because it's so pretty so we didn't really film too much yesterday because we literally ate and then walked around the food shops and then some souvenirs went back to the hotel room and we had to try and get a kind of early night didn't really work out that way because obviously when we came back it like Hat. went forwards an hour so yeah when it was like 11 p.m it was only like 10 p.m so um yeah we didn't really get that much of an early night we're up at 2 30 and we've got a flight home today it is now what 10 to 3 4 5 10 to 5 as you can tell brains are not working yet four to five flight at six yeah um that's cool though we did manage to get some extra leg room seats because i go on at the uh check it laura built the courage nest wings um, bows free extra leg room seats mm -hmm. and it's a really packed flight as well there's hardly any seats because i was looking last night so we got some extra leg room seats thankfully it's 13 on the or 14, 14 hours. hours so yeah i'm really glad about that um but yeah other than that there's not too much we'll maybe speak to you when we're on the plane um, and then when we get off the plane but that is it the holiday is now over we just got to endure 23 it's hours it's been amazing time. though it's been so good it has been really good i can't wait to look back at it all and all the photos it's been really good so yeah it's kind of sad it's bittersweet it's good to go home and see everyone but it's kind of... yeah so yeah we'll catch up with you Maybe we're more in England, maybe we're more on the plane. Who knows? <laughs> See ya!